In today's video, I am going to be breaking down James Yap and his basketball shooting form. I was requested to do this video, and I think that he has a very interesting shot, and there's a lot of things that we can all learn from him. So let's get down, and let's check out James Yap. Okay, so let's really check out how he shoots the ball from the perimeter first, and then we'll go into more of his inside game. First off, his shoulders are over top of his knees, over top of his toes. He has a very balanced shot. He actually gets quite low on this shot as well. He has 90 on his hips as well as his knees. We can see that when he steps down with his right foot, that both of his heels are off the ground, which will engage his Achilles and calves so that he can get up into the air and into his release much faster. We can see that he extends his hips first and then he goes to his knees and usually you would be looking to do both of them generally at the same time. The back or hips should or the lower back should extend a bit earlier than his knees so that is something that he has pretty good energy transfer into his shot however that could be why his shoulders do come back and feet do go forward as much as they do we can see that right here with this shot he really kicks out that right foot the one thing that many coaches will be against is his actual shot and shooting form when it comes to his shooting arm. We can see that he really brings that ball basically right to the top of his head. This is generally something that you would see from a taller player, somebody who has a very long wingspan, somebody like a Kai Soto or a potentially like a Victor Wembanyama or even a Kevin Durant will have that higher release or set point. He does have a two motion shot because it does freeze at his set point for quite a few frames, but he has a nice high soft release as well as elbow being above his forehead. Does he have a lot of rotation on that ball? Not a heck of a lot. It actually has somewhat of a sideways rotation as well, and that could be attributed to the fact that when he shooting his hand is more on the side of the ball than it is being underneath the ball keep in mind he does have a pretty good percentage from shooting three so it just tells you that you can have different shooting forms that can work for you from this angle it's going to be very interesting as well so let's zoom in and let's check this out so when it comes to a shot he brings the ball up the left side of his body usually you'll see this in either players who are looking to try and gain more power from their upper body somebody like a lamello or alonzo ball or in this case he's probably got really broad big shoulders and we can see that in some pictures of him and that could also be the reason too which is why his elbows flare quite far out it could be just a lot of upper body muscle when he goes up into his set point he does have his shoulder and elbow pointing towards the rim and the again same issue is his hand is more on the side of that ball However, when he goes up for a shot, his left knee is pointing out towards his left side, shoulders are pointing this way, hips are pointing in the same directions as, as his shoulders, and his right knee is pointing out towards the right side. He's not an inline shooter, and I'm not saying that he has to be square towards the basket, I'm not saying that he has to have everything square towards the basket, but if your shoulders are pointing out this way, your knees should also be pointing out that way as well. And we can even see when it comes to his feet that even his feet are slightly pointed out in different directions as well. And usually you want your whole body in line, whether it's being tilted away from the basket or being straight on squared up shooter, it doesn't necessarily matter. You generally want your body to be pointing all the same direction. And while this upper body being pointed out towards the left side does help his right shoulder get in line, it would be probably able to get him a higher percentage if he was to get his legs and hips or his leg, sorry, his feet and knees in the same direction. However, this high set point that he does have above his head does help him get these shots over defenders who are playing him tight, just like how a tall player has a high release. However, one thing that he does do quite interestingly enough is a one-handed push shot from pretty much anywhere 
anywhere in the mid-range. And we can see this with running jumpers and of course pretty much any mid-range shot that he takes and it's quite interesting so when he's doing these shots he's getting his right shoulder and elbow in line and it's just a push shot. That's all it really is and he does it quite well so he can pull up from pretty much anywhere and as long as he can get that shoulder and elbow in line with the rim he's able to make that shot and make that shot quite consistently. We can really see it right here where he's able to get that ball in line with his shoulder and elbow and when he releases he releases with a split grip between his pointer and middle finger. This allows him to have a very accurate shot for a one-handed push shot. And even in the mid-range jump shots where we see here where he goes for that jab fake first and then he goes up for a shot same idea one hand push shot and makes it he does this a lot from what I've been seeing from some of his high he shoots all the mid-range with one hand like this and then all of the three-point shots as how I was breaking down earlier James Yap has a very interesting shot there's a lot of things that we can learn from him and we should all be able to incorporate a one-handed push shot if we are within 15 feet because that can really expand our game I hope that this video has helped you if it has hit that like button subscribe make sure to go check out the link down in the description below where I can break down your shooting form. I'll see you guys again next time.